How is it that you establish a culture for the organizations that you've created? Tell us a little bit more about that. Because I was 36 years old and I had other experiences, good and bad, I was very, very sensitive to uh, this whole idea of making it crystal clear, particularly around reward. Um, I had come from an environment where the reward kept changing and it had me constantly looking over my shoulder and I just said, I will never do that to anyone. There's plenty of money to be made by making it crystal clear how you're going to reward somebody. So document it, agree on it, stick with it. So one of the things that we focused on was documenting all of our agreements up front uh, and not changing them just because we hit on a tough time or something like that. The second thing we did culture-wise is uh, we decided we were not going to use lawyers to fight legal issues. What we were going to do is the old-fashioned. We were going to, if we made a mistake, we were going to say we were sorry. And if it was a big mistake, we were going to make reparation. And we built tremendous trust with our customers by the old-fashioned, if you make a mistake, say you're sorry. And I used to make presentations going around the country and uh, one of the messages that I always conveyed is, inevitably, the folks that are, I was meeting with, if a mistake is made, acknowledge it, raise your hand. We understand mistakes will be made. And it saved us millions of dollars. And it made people feel more comfortable in their role. And they would own up and say, hey, we made a mistake. And sometimes it was costly. But we never were in a courtroom in 14 years and uh, we had uh, a 98% contract renewal rate. So there was a real bond with our employees and our customers because they knew honesty was a big part of our business model.